Hey guys, how's it going? I've just put on uh, two of the new uh, Lowrance HDS Live units on my boat and let me tell you, I've been pretty well blown away with these things. Um, I wasn't quite prepared for actually how good they are. The um, clarity, resolution and range on these things are unbelievable. Anyway, a lot of it's got to do with this new transducer. Um, and uh, what we're going to run through today is how and why to place these on your boat and um, the positioning of them. So basically you'll notice this white block here, that's basically a big thick chunk of plastic uh, that's been siliconed and screwed on there and that's so that you can play around with your position of your transducers or even you know a new one, uh, basically future proofing your boat for anything that comes along down the track. So um, that'll basically you know, take all your holes in and you're not drilling them in the boat, in the actual transom of the boat. So, um, first of all, over here, we have the old Legacy 83200 transducer. It's a skimmer sonar transducer. Um, the only reason that's on there is because um, it was getting such good readings uh, at speed. I could pick up the bottom really well, uh, including fish schools and bait schools as well. So at 70 k's an hour, so that's uh, staying there for a little while. Um, anyway, this is the new active imaging three-in-one transducer. Uh, there's a lot of um, work's gone into the crystal placement on these things uh, to get such good range and clarity on these things. So um, now you might go, well, this is on backwards, looks a bit funny. Well, I've been led to believe that all the sonar crystals are at the back. So the sonar is what gives you your bottom reading. Um, so I've turned it around to maximize the uh, clarity of the bottom. You may get a bit of turbulence up the front, so I've put the sonar crystals down the back. Anyway, uh, the rest of it um, at the front is all your down and side scanning. Um, so anyway, that's on there perfectly. This thing is actually reading at speed at 70 k's an hour. It's reading the sides, 60 meters out to the side, 60 meters left and right. Um, I'm picking up structure on this now. There's no reason why I can't pick up a uh, school of fish I'm probably not going to do 70 k's an hour all the time uh, That's pretty rare, but I just wanted to test this thing to the limit um, It's more likely to do 50 maybe 40 k's an hour um, and I should be able to pick up wrecks reef and maybe bait and um, schools of fish as well, so anyway Let's uh, have a look at how it's positioned on the back of the boat. So we've used this straight edge here. Um, we'll run that flat along the bottom of the hull. And as you can see, you might notice that it's just tilted down a bit at the back. Um, now that's just so that we get a, a nice clear reading on the sonar at the back. Um, we'll go over this side here and you'll notice that... Uh, it's sitting up a little bit high. Uh, that's because of the deep V in the hull. So uh, there's not much you can do about that. Um, if it was sitting on a nice flat bottom boat, you could have it even, but this one's not. Anyway, if you have a look up the front here, now this is where your transducer should be positioned. So if I've got that straight edge hitting the middle of that transducer at the leading edge, it should be just about flush with that lip around the transducer so um, now let's have a look from the back there so you'll see how that's sitting we've got the uh, deep v hull there okay now if you're interested in how to mount this skimmer transducer as well this one's like i said before it's absolutely perfectly mounted but um we'll run that straight edge down here so you'll notice on these transducers there's a um, little uh, join line around the transducer. So basically that's the centre of the transducer. Um, on this side the transducer is sitting up a bit higher because of the deep V. On this side it's sitting a bit lower because of the deep V. But if you take this onto the leading edge of the transducer in the middle then this thing hits that um, the top of the straight edge hits that join line and that's exactly where you want to be with your uh, 
positioning that way it just allows the water to skim past there um, without causing too much turbulence now as I said those that's positioned perfectly those two so um, I can actually probably get rid of this one now but I'm just gonna leave him on here for now and have a bit of a play with it but um, anyway I hope that helps you out if you have any queries or questions shoot us a uh, message on um, this post and um, if you haven't already liked the page hit give us a like and uh, if you think this is going to help somebody out with their transducer placing share them or tag them whatever you got to do anyway i hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching catch you next time Hooroo.